Okay, I'm continuing my walk. I've left the lock in the weir now. And um, I'm going for a little walkabout. Apparently you can go by the river, then you can you bear off, you come to a tarmac little lane and that'll make you make a decision whether to go right the way down and back to the campsite that way or you can turn off and weave back through this wood through a different pathway so I thought well the sun's come out I certainly don't want to sit in a caravan when it's like this or a flat you know so I'm uh, making the most of it I'm packing a lot in um, I'm packing a lot into this visit to St. Nerts. There's the river there, the ooze, the river ooze. I think it's the Neen that's up near, um, that might, that's Huntington, I think, or, yeah, I think that's Huntington. Or is that Northampton? I don't know, I'll get muddled up to be honest. I, I won't know until I get home and study all the literature. <sighs> So I'm in the Cambridgeshire countryside. Now the accent is very different here to what you find in, um, say, Borough Green or Newmarket. And uh, he didn't say when I'd meet the tarmac road, though, did he? Anyway, basically. I'm, I'm doing a lot. The accents are different. That's right, yeah. The accents in sort of Suffolk and Cambridge, that side, are more like New Zealand y type accent. Right? But um, up here, they sound more northern. You know, like in Northampton, I associate Northampton with being like Birmingham or, or they would be insulted by that, but you know what I mean. Um, a northern, a more north accent, but a more north accent. I reckon he thought I was going to turn off there, right? I recognise those, that estate over there. He probably thought I'm just going to do, see, people don't realise I'm a long distance walker. God, that's beautiful though, everyone. What a lovely day to end my day here to come and explore this beauty. Everywhere I go in my beautiful England, I find places of beauty. I felt quite tired after the walk this morning and hunting around for souvenirs and I couldn't find any. I couldn't find a cup of St. Neots, nothing. I probably should have gone in the church. But anyway, not to worry. Um, Even the books weren't very good that I found. I wasn't going to pay 12, 20 pounds for a book which is just full of photos I've taken myself. I could take myself just for a glossy cover, you know. I wanted something a bit more in depth. Yeah, so anyway. That's that. I'm just doing a little bit of... I'll be leaving this river, of this bit of this tributary anyway. I mean, it's all to do with a park, conservation, a reserve, reservation. Um, but I've got hay fever. I have got nearly the full effects of hay fever at the moment. When the cold sores come as well, it's you know you're having a big dose. Um... So I know I'm having a big dose of uh, something or other at the moment. And uh, the, the itchy eyes, everything, you know, runny nose, sneezing. It's all happening for me at the moment. It's really horrible, but I will not take a pill until about eight o'clock this evening because if I'll, I'll be tired by, I'll be, oh, I'll be too tired. It's got to be a meeting up place in a minute. Look, there's a, someone walking over there. So let's just enjoy this view a minute. I'm just going to turn off and take a picture before I join Brian. 
Oh, well, somebody come. I thought they weren't going to come, and there's someone following me now. Just as I started up the video. So this is this meadowland. It's got a name, actually. I can't remember it. <coughs> it was on the plaque earlier. I just can't remember. Look at these fluffy flowers. They're beautiful. They give me hay fever. They give me hay fever. I'll just keep the camera rolling even though they're coming and turn it off in a minute. Just over there is where I was walking earlier on the other bank. I'm just backtracking really. Just doing a little video so you get some idea of... And I can remember as well many years to come. Really old. <sighs> I wonder where that goes. I try that. Well, it is. I'm just going up here a minute to get back on that bank where the lock was. I walked all the way up there earlier. I just got an instinct tells me to come back here, but it could be that I could just walk up there. So it says come this way. Let's have a look. I don't think no, it may not be yet. No, it's a bit further yet. We'll go back. Go back on this other track a minute. At least when I go to Bar Green, Dulling, and all that, I mean, mainly with a football bird, I know where I'm going. It's mainly just going to, around the churches. I'm not doing any, I haven't planned any walks at all for that. That's literally visiting the churches. I've got to do a Dullam. I haven't been in that for a while because they were, once it was closed, another time they were doing it up. So I might have to head straight for Dullam tomorrow, do Dullam first, then see if I can get into Burwell because Dullam will probably be open on a Sunday. Oh, here we are. Look, we are meeting up. There's those people with the dog. 
and I could have gone straight along to the bridge, to Willow Bridge up there. But I thought, no, let's do a bit of weaving. Let's do a bit of weaving in that. We're back at the lock now. Didn't take long, did it? We're back at the lock. It's just nice to get the feel of a place. It's boundaries. It's waterways. And like I said, with a bit of sunshine. This is the sunniest day we've had. Even though we had two massive downpours earlier. One in the morning, which was lasted two minutes. The other one went on for ten minutes. A good ten minutes. Could have been a quarter of an hour. And last night... It was massively heavy and it went on, well it seemed like it went on all night to be quite honest. Right, now I'm now going to go down this way. I've seen a bloke I've seen earlier coming from the campsite coming through here so I know you can do it. Don't say you can't does it? I'll get another view of the pub, the weir, the lock from this side as well. Yeah, I can get another view, look. I'm over here. <laughs> 